Welcome to Creative Tian channel. In this video, we want to show you how to knit laced heart. The pattern I have is for the motif design of the heart only, but if you want to make into a dish clothes, you can start with a few rows of the garter stitch. I also have two garter stitches on the left and right side so it doesn't roll easily because the motif is 16 stitches and I have two stitches in the front and the end so I have 20 stitches total so I cast down 20 stitches and knit four rows it becomes the garter stitch and then I start knitting plain stocking a stitch and because I have the first two and last two stitches as the border stitches, I need first and the last two stitches on every row to make it garter stitches. After a few rows of plain knitting, I start the motif pattern and the first two stitches are my edge stitches, so I just need the first two stitches and then we will follow the pattern. For the first row, I start with knit 6. And then knit 2 together. And then yarn over. Just move the yarn to the front, that creates one stitch. And then SSK, slip, slip, knit. Both SSK and the knit two together reduce one stitch. The knit two together create a right leaning stitch, and the SSK create a left leaning stitch. That's why we pair these two together usually. And then we knit six. That's the end of the first row. But because we have two edge stitches, so after need six, we need the last two stitches. You can see it creates a hole from the young over stitch. And all the back side, we have the pearl stitches except the edge stitches because we have garter stitch edges so the first and the last two stitches we use knit stitch and then the rest are pearl stitches so we just pearl the whole row including the yarn over stitch And remember to knit the last two stitches. And then we can turn over and start the second row. For the second row, again, we start with two edge stitches. We need the first two stitches. And then we start the pattern. We start with knit four. and then knit two together and then yarn over just move the yarn to the front and then knit three one two three and then yarn over again to create a hole and then SSK slip slip knit and then we need the last four stitches and after that we need the last two edge stitches And 
and the back is the same. We have two edge stitch and the rest are pearl stitches. Now we start with row 3. We need the first two edge stitches and the pattern start with knit 2. And then knit 2 together. Yarn over. Knit 7. And then yarn over and then SSK and need two and then need the last two stitches for the edge. The back side is the same again. I'm not repeating it here. And we do the fourth row on the front side. And for this row, we just knit all the way without any increasing or decreasing. For the fifth row, we start the motif with knit one and then knit two together yarn over knit nine Yarn over, SSK, and then knee one. And for the row six, the front side of the motif. We start with knit six knit two together yarn over and then knit seven. For the seventh row, we start the motif with knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit three. Yarn over knit three yarn over knit three
Young Over SSK and then Knit 1 And for the last row, the eighth row, we start the motif with knit three. SSK. Yarn over. Knit two SSK Knit three Young over. Knit two together and then knit three. That finish the motif of the heart pattern. After this row, you can have a few rows of the plain stitch and then you can knit a few rows of the garter stitch to match the beginning and then just bind off. Now you are done with the hard laced motif. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.